Today we pick up our Bible study in Mark chapter 14, verses 66 through 72. In Mark chapter 14, verses 66 through 72 is the narrative of Peter as he came to the courtyard of the high priest where Jesus was standing trial. In Mark chapter 14, verses 66 through 68, as Peter warmed himself by the fire, he was noticed as one of those who had been with Jesus, but he denied it. Later, he was questioned once again, but once again denied knowing Jesus. A third time, Peter was questioned as being noticed as a Galilean and his speech as such. But Peter denied knowing Jesus and became so enraged by this questioning that he began to curse about the matter. So we see in Mark chapter 14, verse 71. This is an example of how easy it is to turn and deny our true self when trouble strikes. Peter was not only a disciple of Jesus, he was the leader of the disciples of Jesus. He was privy to things that only he, James, and John were allowed to witness. But when trouble came close, he ran. We are no different. We have a tendency to turn and run when the going gets tough. When Peter realized what he had done, conviction struck his heart as he began to believe that Jesus would no longer keep him in the promises he had made about the kingdom of heaven. The same narrative as recorded in Luke chapter 22, verses 60 through 62, quoting from the New King James Version, states as Peter is denying knowing Jesus. But Peter said, man, I do not know what you are saying. Immediately while he was still speaking, the rooster crowed, and the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So Peter went out and wept bitterly. We know this conviction as God convicts us through his Holy Spirit. But can you imagine the conviction of Jesus in his physical body turning as he is being beaten and spat on and looking you right in the eyes as you deny knowing him. If your heart just jumped, then you know what I'm talking about. To profess Jesus your Savior and then deny him, it is the most heart-wrenching thing I can think of. To feel immediately distanced from the relationship that saved you from spending eternity in hell and to feel as if it is all now lost. But this was not the end for Peter, as Jesus would redeem him before he ascended to heaven. As we know in John chapter 21, verses 15 through 22, Jesus can and will redeem you too if you will put your trust in him and believe that he was beaten, spat upon, and killed for your sins. But through his taking your punishment for sin, he now has the power to forgive your sins and to redeem you back to a right standing with God, that he will give you his righteousness to cover you for eternity in Christ. Dear Lord, we like to think and believe that we're strong in our relationship with you, but the truth is that if the lead disciple of Jesus can fall to the pressure of this world, then we can too, and most likely do more often than we want to admit. Please forgive us for our weaknesses and fill us with your Holy Spirit and help us to grow and learn from our mistakes. Mostly, Lord, please help us to always remember that Jesus will forgive us if we will bring our sins to him with humbled hearts and to ask. Please let it be so, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.